Mario invested $1,000 in an account earning 6.3% annual interest that is compounded continuously. How long will it take the investment to double? Well, let's begin with the function that models continuously compounded interest. A of t equals p times e to the rt power. Now in this case, p is the principal, r is the annual interest rate, and t is the time, in this case measured in years. And so we have a of t equals p, the principal in this case is $1,000, e to the rt power, r written as a decimal is 0 0.063 times t. So this function models the investment, gives the amount at the end of t years. Now the question is, how long will it take the investment to double? So if we start with $1,000, in the end we'll have $2,000. So we'll replace the amount A of t with 2,000. And that leaves us with an exponential equation where t is the only variable left, and that's the time it takes to double. So we need to solve for t. Let's begin by isolating the exponential expression here by dividing both sides by 1,000. That leaves us with 2 equals e to the 0 0.063 times t power. Now at this point we apply the one-to-one -one property for logarithms. In this case, because the base is e, I'm going to choose to apply the natural log to both sides. So we have the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of e to the 0 0.063 times t power. Now we do that so that we can then apply the power rule for logarithms. In other words, we can write this exponent as a coefficient. Doing that, we have the natural log of 2 equals 0 0.063 times t times the natural log of e. Now, we know the natural log of e is 1, so we have the natural log of 2 equals 0 0.063 times t times 1. And then all that's left to do is to is to divide both sides by 0 0.063. And that leaves us with the exact answer, the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.063 equals t. Now working that on a calculator, that comes out to approximately 11 years. And so we can say that the investment will double in approximately 11 years.